classical computers encode information in bits, and each bit can represent a zero or a one. These zeros and ones act as on-off switches that ultimately translate into compute functions. To perform a simple calculation, like solving a maze, a classical computer would test each possible route one at a time to find the correct one. Just as classical computers have bits, quantum computers have qubits. Qubits, however, make use of two key principles of quantum physics, superposition and entanglement. Superposition means that each qubit can represent a zero, a one, or both at the same time. And entanglement happens when two qubits in a superposition are correlated with one another, meaning the state of one, whether it's a zero, a one, or both, depends on the state of another. Using these two principles, qubits can act as a much more sophisticated version of switches, helping quantum computers solve difficult problems that are virtually impossible using classical computers. This quote is from a respectable scientist, in fact, one of the founders of this field, that may, be a little bit, may look a little strange to you who don't follow theoretical physics, but there is a very clear prediction that our most successful theory of nature makes, and that is that there are an enormous number, mind-bogglingly large number, of parallel realities, as real as this one, that have different consistent histories. So imagine a world where all of the laws of physics as we know them are obeyed, but different decisions were made along the way. Different decisions at the level of tiny microscopic particles, different decisions all the way up to what you chose to eat for lunch, and whether you chose to come to this session or not. Quantum mechanics makes a very specific prediction that all of those are as real as the thing that you remember. And this is bizarre, because we don't see those other things. But science has reached the point now where we can build machines that exploit those other worlds. And quantum computers are perhaps the most exciting of all of these that we have within, or almost within our grasp right now. In quantum mechanics, there's this concept that an, an, a, a thing can exist in two states which are mutually exclusive, at the same time, quote unquote. So I'm using those words because the English language was developed before we had concepts to describe what these things actually are doing.